We're at MIPIM 2023 and we are joined on the set of BI TV by Mr. Neil Slater, Global Head of Real Assets at Aberdeen. Neil Slater, thank you for joining us on BE TV. Great to be here again. Uh, you participated today uh, at the RE Invest Summit, the Real Estate Invest Summit uh, at MIPIM. Uh, where the latest investment strategies, trends, opportunities, uh, and challenges, of course, uh, were debated. Uh, what were the main issues that captured uh, the minds of investors at the conference? Well, firstly, let me say again, thank you. It's great to be here back in MIPIM, and uh, the Reinvest Conference was really good as always. We focused on three key areas, the macro environment, sustainability, and investment opportunities. Mm. So on the macro side, there was a lot of discussion around the interest rate environment, the inflationary environment, and then the pressures coming through on construction. Sustainability, it wasn't just classic sustainability discussion. We talked about water usage, food shortages, mm. and the role for real estate, not just today, but in 10 and 20 years time. Bearing in mind a lot of capital was at the meeting today, so a lot of long-term thinkers. And then lastly, uh, we were investors. So what are the opportunities? Again, we spent a lot of time, look, it's all great to talk, mm. but how do we make money in this environment? What are the opportunities? So we talked about the debt environment, lending in this market space. The secondaries environment, is that really going to come to play over mm. the course of the next six to nine months? And actually thematics still remain really important. So a lot of talk around supply demand in this environment. Let's not forget, we're seeing still a lot of rental income coming through in the logistics space. Rental still looks very good. So, I mean, a really good conversation around a lot of different topics with some great capital from all around the world. Great. Uh, you mentioned macroeconomic tensions, obviously. Uh, we talked a lot about it over the, over the last year. I'm guessing it's still very uh, on top of minds of, of investors. Uh, at Aberdeen, uh, how do you uh, managed your strategy, how, the, how have these uh, macroeconomic uh, and even geopolitical tensions uh, affected your investment strategies and how do you see it affecting it going forward? So, you know, we deliver for clients and it's all about what our clients are thinking, what our clients want. And what we've, been, what we've done is we've been very true to our investment process. We focus very much on thematics. Mm. So sure, the second half of this year or last year and the start of this year has been quite quiet. But the first half of last year was very busy. Mm. Our uh, living business has grown by 50% in three years. Uh, we've just announced a joint venture with John Lewis of the UK for repurposing mm. uh, retail to residential. So what we've been really doing is continuing with conviction calls, continuing to focus on logistics, supply chain, onshoring of industrials, and that living space in particular. Mm. Uh, we've continued to sell down offices in this environment. We still remain very cautious on the future of offices. So. You know, look, for us, it's been, yes, a bit of wait and see like some other investors, but we've moved with conviction in those sectors that we still have really strong um, focus on. So, uh, yeah, it's, listen, it's been an interesting time, been a difficult time, but we've done really well. Okay. Uh, you mentioned also sustainability. Uh, Aberdeen aims to reduce the carbon intensity uh, of its assets by 50% by 20, uh, 2030, is that correct? That's correct, uh, yes. Sorry. Uh, how do you intend to reach this environmental ambition uh, in spite of the complicated market environment? So the key thing for us has been setting a pathway for success. We, mm. we, we have different funds and different clients, and some will move at different paces compared to others. But the key thing is setting a pathway, a plan, so you can really show this is what we're doing, this is how we're doing it. You can then start impacting your capex, mm. your construction positioning, and you can also decide which assets you're going to sell if you think that you, you're not going to meet that 2030 target. Mm. So it's about being disciplined. But I will just add, it's not just about Aberdeen. This is an industry phenomenon. This is something that the industry needs to come together on. And we can all talk about what we're going to do. But unless we do something about it, the danger is we're sitting here and we're having another discussion in 10 years' time. Yeah. And the earth is getting hotter. And uh, there's more food shortages. There's more water issues. That's what we're, uh, we're wanting to focus on. Just play our part at Aberdeen. Mm. And so the, the solution is putting one foot in, in front of the other and, and start the movement. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And bring everyone along with us uh, at the same time, for mm. sure. Great. Thank you very much, Neil Slater. Always a pleasure to uh, benefit from your insight. Uh, thank you all also for joining us. We'll see you soon at MIPIM 23 on BE TV.